Hello, it's me again. We're back on the Worganator channel, and today we are playing House Dagoff because it's been a while and I've just been really in the mood for it. And this is a kind of one of your kind of generic five or more power slam and bully your opponents with it with Red Mountain and other cards kind of decks. Now, as I mentioned earlier with Red Mountain, it's a very good card and it does allow you to play a lot more of the expensive units earlier, as realistically, as much as Dagoff Ur is an excellent card, without Red Mountain or a game that's been kind of against a heavy control deck, it's quite difficult to get them out before you can just win. So it's quite key to have cards like Red Mountain to cheapen up your units, and Ascended Sleeper of course is another massive MVP of cheapening up these units. If you do want to enjoy the video, obviously, you know, liking, subscribing makes me feel better. And other than that, let's get into the video. Okay, I'm not going to try and pronounce that name, or it's going to sound like me screaming. Um, you know what? I think I might just keep this and let, let our draws do the rest of the work. Is they're playing Crusader, so they could be quite aggro, which is slightly annoying for us because we got a slowish deck. <laughs> Fighters Guild Hall, okay. Trying to damage their own units, then. Again, I'm not too fussed about playing Wardcrafter just yet. Okay, um, basically, now we need to just kill any unit that we damage. We'll get down our Corsair ship just so we've got some form of buffs to our own units. You know, they can be massively buffing their cards every time they take damage, but we, you know, we, we got a ship. Our oh, really? Okay, that's... That's a bit annoying that the first unit we see is a counter to what we have, but okay. Hand over the coin! <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm doing this just because I want to see if they have another, um, I feel a storm coming. Dush, an archer, if they have another archer. Why is every word so hard to pronounce today? Wardcrafter, we there we, okay, you're actually, what is this guy's, what is this guy's consistency? What is his consistency? This is ridiculous. We have seen four cards from the man, and they're all the same. Oh my goodness. This, this is a joke, you know. I bark and burn. It's a funny joke, I will admit. But, um, do I, I do kind of want to keep some level of a ring. But at the same time, this is just, this is just a piss take. You know what, fuck it. God, to me. Oh my goodness. I am actually gobsmacked. They're probably confused that I didn't play another support that turn. They're like, what am I meant to do with this third archer? Okay, so I'm assuming they've got something to deal with, Baron Zaya. No? Okay, maybe. Oh, wow. Jeez. I was not expecting two rapid shots for more consistency than two devouring flames! We are up against the king of consistency here. Oh my god. Every single card he's played, he's had two of so far, at least. Jesus. We'll see how they like someone who fights back. What the hell? I'm actually, like, so confused as to how they've done it. Oh, I can see what their little tactic is here. They're going to damage their own... Watch yeah. Yeah, you know what? Just. 
Right, well this will be a bit of a problem. Because they're going to hit their own units and start buffing them up. I mean, very surprising that they get exactly their game plan this perfectly. And the removal continues. Jesus. As long as I grow up breath, I do not okay, it seems that God seems to be back on my side. <laughs> He's done a team change, everyone. For now, at least. <laughs> that moment when your opponent actually manages to do something to counter you. What's going on? <laughs> um... I really want to play Arcano and obviously Shadow Shift to move that over there. Um, I need to get rid of the big unit, let's be real. Uh, Sended Sleeper, Shadow Shift, the Dreamer. Join us. <laughs> Depends how much. Actually, no, we'll do this because realistically, the lack of draw power. Of course. And that's going to destroy the sleeper, isn't it? We'll no, it's not. Okay, thank, thank God. It's just going to add to the consistency train. <laughs> I mean, fair play to them. They've made a consistent deck. That's very well done of them. For Skyrim, for Skyrim. And a good set of supports. You know, I, I can't really complain. They have just we'll made a good no deck. <laughs> objectively. Um witness the fury of Ostagon. You understand nothing. Right. Let's let's just really start to apply pressure. My mind. And I guess Ward Is Wardcraft even worth it? Have they shown any level of charge so far? They haven't. Which is why I'm probably gonna leave it at that. Because they haven't shown any card with charge so far. And we realistically need to do six damage to them. Because we have aspects of her scene in hand. Although this these supports are quite scary. Bleed for me. Okay, so they're they're trying to get their setup back. Hmm. They've got four Magicka, so worst case, I can't even see really, is there any, there's no real double guard for four cost, so, is there any that strong enough to block the Easy as hunting a red skeever in the snow, Sovereign guard awaits you. Right, well, let's, let's, let's hope they don't get prophecies. Okay. Boom. There we go. Well done. That's what we like to see. It's been a while since I've won with Aspects of her scene, but it feels good. I'll give it that. Well played to them, though. Right. The Immortal. Okay. I am not so immortal, but Dagoth Ur lives forever in our hearts. Well, um, I'm going to get rid of Ash Piercer, just because it's quite awkward. I mean, just keeping Sill and Star in hand's a bit pricey, but we move. Okay, a lot of oppressors. We don't really want these too much, unless we get a Corsair ship just to push units over the... I say I don't want it, and then a third one. If a fourth one comes now, I'm actually going to start questioning this game. I will keep Sotha Sil's people alive. So many units with four power, but like Sil's the only one above it. Okay, okay, good. That's not, that's not a complete bull. Now I am concerned what they've Galened because, you know, spooky cards. Repel the Outlanders. It's one of these decks. Oh, Red Mountain's good. I Just now need to this. beg to freaking god they don't have support removal in hand. Or in other words, they've got you support removal. Oh my freaking goodness, you've got to be kidding. The 
Sorry, I've oh, I've just it's been one of those days. All, all, like uh, every single match I've had, it's it's been like this. Like, I'm not even going to attack because I know that will be a prophecy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm actually being driven mad by all this removal. <laughs> it's always... Oh, it's... It's actually so annoying. I can't... I can't lie. There's just been too much removal for me. That's fine. You're not silencing any units or anything dumb, annoying whatsoever. Okay, cool. Um... Now, I think a nice little combo here would be to never take me down. attack never. that oppressor jackal. There we go. And now they have been what I like to call disabled. Because, well, they can't really do I much. Smell blood on the wind. Oh, my, my friend. They just don't want me getting off my little bonus here. Take me down. However, Never. really unfortunately for them. Oh, it's next bloody time. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe I do want all these ash oppressors. <laughs> Our tactic is to delay them into like defeat. Because now we can just aspect a person. I'm starting to see a theme with this video. Me getting annoyed at removal. Oh. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> there we go. Aspect of her scene again. Coming in with the clutch. <laughs> oh, this was so dumb. Good work, Sil, for actually appearing this game, though. Okay. Daggerfall versus not Daggerfall. Basically, what's better, green or purple? Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna just keep this. We've got the ring. I'll keep it. Ancarno's um, he's a nice cheeky card, and I'm sure we can draw some more low cost cards to make me feel better for keeping him in our starting hand. Now, are they gonna open up quickly, or are they? Yes. Okay. So, we'll give it a turn. Go on. We'll start using the ring for these two. Don't underestimate me. Okay, so they're wanting to hold on to their items. We see you waking and I'll put this down here because it really does kind of make them want to use a dagger. Do your worst. Or just ignore it. You know, that's, <clears throat> that's cool. Oh, it's this... What? <laughs> uh we hate this guy. All my homies Join hate this guy. Us. So we are gonna be aiming to get rid of him because he can end up being very, very strong if left to just well do his work. My only concern is how long it's gonna take to kill this guy. It's got a very nice set of tattoos, though. I mean, I'm not really a, I'm not really a tattoo person myself, but I can, I can appreciate I quality. <laughs> and you can tell, you know, from the one on his arm and his head, that you know he's he's put some effort into them. We got respect him for that. Puts time into his work and his tattoo designs. <laughs> Just get a bit sidetracked there. Not bad. I take it that's their way of saying goodbye, Master Swordsmith. Now, Join us. the board's actually not too bad, and I do want to keep some uses of the ring, so I'm going to hold off for now. Depending on whether Ogrim dies or not this turn is how much I regret it. Time to march. Okay, that's... yeah. That's fine, because we can now Servant of Dagoth, and then just juggle the um, five or more power. Join. And then next turn, I think Ascended Sleeper is probably the best one to go for. Because Ascended Sleeper is a 
it's a good card. I'll give you that much. Welcome to House Redoran, recruit. You know, it's probably good enough that I wouldn't even throw it against Scar Drill Master, even though Scar Drill Master is a very strong card. Join us. Nope. Oh, there we go, it begins. <laughs> and now everything's so much cheaper, I can start, you know, fighting back. Oh, okay, a Red Guard's deck it is then, I'm assuming. By, yeah. I live for adventure. Observe my technique. Okay, so they're going for some big swings here is basically what we're observing as their technique. But um If it wasn't valuable, they wouldn't lock it up. We still got plenty to deal with this. If it wasn't valuable, they wouldn't lock it up. I keep a spare blade in my Well boot. well. What have oh my we goodness. Well well. What have we here? Now we don't want to get too cocky here. Cause it could get us killed. Hmm. Well, we can get them down to 12, 9, 7, 1, which is great. Love to see that number. Um, I say we just start trading. Or not trading, but getting rid of their cards this turn. And then, yeah, you know what? Important things on my mind. I do not feel I think that's probably the best setup we could do this turn. Is there any units? Oh wow, so any units. I didn't even know that. And now this turn we're in a much Ooh, that's bad. They must go with the sleeper, surely. If they don't go with the sleeper, then... Mate, you've just played yourself. <laughs> oh, we'll admit. I live for adventure. Is that what they... It's not what they rallied. Observe my technique. Um... Hmm. They aren't... Fool. I stand behind my work. Okay. Well, I say we push them this turn because what we've now got, we've got enough. We'll see about this. There we go. Uh, Tazcad or aspect. Okay, we have the aspect of her scene. <laughs> we can wrap up every single match this video with aspect of her scene. And that will conclude the video. If you are one of the Hercene gang, like the video. If not, please, you know, like the video or do what you want. I don't mind. But other than that, I'll see you next time.